Canadian e van. I goofed. I'm pretty upset about it, honestly. I'm pretty annoyed, but it's all good. I mean, it is what it is. I just gotta pay attention a little bit more. So what we think happened was once we got home and didn't want to look back at his footage from today, when we were seeing the sea turtles and stuff, we realized that he couldn't find his camera. And so we were looking at the house, we were looking in the car and we can't find it. And so we look back to the footage from today and it looks like that he grabbed his GoPro off the, the roof of the car, but we don't see him grabbing his camera. And so we're afraid when he went to go leave, he left his camera on the roof of the car. I don't know how long it stayed there or how fast it fell off or if somebody found it. I mean, and realistically, if you found a camera, you might try to return it. Like, I always try to return things I find to their owner. Yeah. But let's say there's no owner around because, like me, I didn't realize. Right. Eventually, you're going to be like, well, I guess I'm going to keep it. Right. And it makes it hard, too, though, because, like, for example, where we're from, there's community groups on Facebook and stuff. So if someone does lose something, they'll post, hey, did anyone miss a camera or something? But because we're not home and we're in Hawaii, even if they do have a local group, we would never know. Yeah. So, it's unfortunate. We're going to get there and look around. I'll, we'll update you and you can film with us and we'll look around together. But it's just frustrating. I mean, the camera's really not that expensive. It's a nice camera and I like the camera a lot, but I got a lot of my photography footage on there that's yeah. important. Like, I found some, you know, things and then we found that sea turtle, which if you haven't seen that, go check it out, please. You know, at least I don't make it feel better a little bit. Yes. <laughs> but, like, I got a really, a lot of cool shots of him. Like, really and, up close. And I got a lot of, you know, my scenery shots that I like to do as my little hobby, but it's just unfortunate. Whatever. I mean, it is what it is at this point. I don't know. I'm just frustrated. I think I'm circling with you guys. I keep saying the same thing. He's going through his emotions. He's processing them with you. Yeah, you know. Honestly, though, I will say when he found out or when whatever when he realized, like when we were at home, he was very calm. I wanted to tell <laughs> you, you actually handled that really well yeah. because it does suck. And like, I get, I get what you're saying. Like, the camera is materialistic, but like all the effort and time you put into taking those pictures, like I remember even when you were able to get close to the turtle, you're like, you're gonna be famous. Like, yeah, and I was like super excited like i was talking to her the whole time i'm like i can't wait to edit all these photos and get them all ready yeah and like because like i don't know i just keep the photos i don't even have an instagram for my photography i mean i thought about it but like i just have fun doing it so right. it's like i don't and, know and also those are like memories so it's like yeah i don't know you know what i was thinking though in a positive way of this which i'm i'm hoping for like a, a birthday miracle but um so like I will try to film the waves for a really long time and they won't ever be big. And then the minute that I stop filming, they'll be big and beautiful. And so I'm thinking, you know, the turtle was so beautiful and we got to get so close to him that it's almost like the world again being like, be in the moment, be the moment with these waves, be the moment with this turtle. Like you don't need to document everything because you're here, you know? I mean, I get it. I get, I get where you're coming from, but I'm just trying to be positive because I can't change what happened. Yeah. What were you going to say? It sounded like you are going to say something that wasn't positive. <laughs> no. I'm not feeling like I'm being pretty positive. No, you are right being now. positive. Like, but I just like said this whole positive statement and you sounded like you're going to be like, yeah, but. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm down. I feel like I'm being positive. Okay. Hey fam, so we just got here and we're searching literally everywhere. All through these rocks. All through everything. Hoping that it just fell off on one of the speed bumps. Or somebody put it on a rock for us to come back for later. I don't know. Give me stress, but we're trying. What is it? Right. Where did you just find that? Under my seat. <laughs> found it. I'm not even bad that we just drove 40 minutes. I'm so glad you found that. I like want to cry. <laughs> I guess there are happy endings. Bro, I told you this birthday is just too perfect. <laughs> oh my God. That's exciting. Okay, well, <laughs> let's end this on a good note. Daniel turned his camera. Yeah, and... I'm pretty juiced right now. I'm gonna go home and edit now. <laughs> After dinner, my birthday dinner.